promised a day of disruption. But while protesters did what they could to send their message, they were hampered, often outnumbered, by an intimidating wall of police. A game of cat and mouse played out through the day. Pop-up demos appeared. Police declared them illegal. This demonstration has been declared unlawful. Protesters dispersed and then it happened all over again at another flashpoint. Lulls in the action followed by standoffs. In one residential alleyway, police swept through with a canine unit, cornering protesters at a dead end. At least three were taken into custody. But what stood out the most was the contrast. This heavy police presence tracking every move of a small group of protesters. Not what freedom of expression should look like, says this woman. You're here, aren't you, Amnesty International, she says. Amnesty is here and it doesn't like what it's seen. One of the um, principles uh, that we believe the authorities should be following is um, to have a, a presence that corresponds to the risk. And so we believe that this is not what we've seen today. She's concerned that heavy-handed security is simply shutting people down. Some of them uh, feared uh, coming in the streets even before the G7. Uh, what we have denounced, of course, is kind of a climate of fear uh, that happened before the G7, not only uh, from, of course, articles that we found in the media, but also uh, statements and severe security measures. They say the job of police is not just to protect the public, but also the rights of those protesting. And with more demonstrations planned for tomorrow, Amnesty says it'll be watching. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Quebec City.